Slowly, vampire. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, God. I, I mean you no know harm. We are both chasing the same shadow. It's Will. William. That was Bishop. easy. <laughs> he came in here. You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. The following night. Okay. Uh, switch to a controller now. So I have to probably relearn some of the controls, but should be okay. On workbench, you can craft medical treatments, serums, and weapon upgrade. Okay. You have enough components to improve on one of your weapons. Select the melee weapon. You can upgrade your weapon to a new level with the required ingredients. It will inflict more damage and you also gain access to customization slots. Okay. Sure. I have to pick one. Okay, no I don't. Oh, okay. I pick one of those with late. Okay. Okay. Check the killer follow the blah blah blah. Let's see if I can uh, use this switching target thing a little better. Follow the blood trail from the pier. I get it. It's locked. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. New melee weapon? Use scythe. Look up a two-handed weapon, press Y to use its special ability. Scythe, for instance, can be used to parry an incoming attack and inflict heavy stun damage if timed correctly. Okay. Oh, how do I... Oh, no. How do I open the inventory menu? Oh, okay. Well, let's try it out. Okay, boss fight, boss fight. Come on, Willy. Oh, God. Oh god! Get off me! 
Oh god. Come on, Willy. What? Use bludgeon, what? Check on the victim. Oh. You mean this guy? Please. Stop. William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well. Another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must oh God. return to my flock. They'll stray without me. Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by scowl? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical that attention. That guy's accent is we'll thick. He gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes, sir. Go with the good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. Where's that lady? The other blood sample. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it... ...be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? No, don't play me for a fool. You use me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were a gentleman. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back, but I will tell you she values her privacy. Privacy? Were well, London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Oh, Reed. How do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. 
But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed, marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Even though you almost burned me with Jesus, I guess we can be friends. These, these, this music is just very unsettling. It really adds to the game. Doctor Swansea, really nice. thank goodness, I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane. For I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night! We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime. Find a good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy. Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King and Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. You're coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. Jesus, you can let go. a word in my office later, Jonathan. Come on, you bastard! You can do better than that! It's my turn! Oh my... Rotten or pressy, each heart contains the secret of life. Drink at this river, dry it all. Will not give in, Satan. Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. Um. Insulting a good Samaritan. 
Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes, that's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. He said it's so... Blood quality indicates how much XP you'll obtain from a particular citizen. The higher blood quality, the more XP you get. To drink the blood of your prey, first you need to mesmerize them and lead them out of sight from others. Your mesmerized level must be equal to or higher this equal or higher than the citizen's resistance. Okay. Oh no. This fading light into the shadows. Dance with him the dance of life and death. Oh no, it's playing this the music again. Press A to embrace Clay Cox or B to release him. Embracing Clay will provide a massive XP boost, but be aware that there will be consequences. Learning more about citizens and collecting their hints will increase the experience gained. Oh, a life for a life. Let it happen. Let it happen. In the back, you bastard. Didn't have the guts to fart me. Fuck you. I'll kill you. Wait, who's talking? Wait, he should be... Wait, is he not, like... Okay, just... Okay. Oh no, Satan, go away. To embrace its most intimate secrets. Such a burden, such a divine sin. Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Stop. Did he really Look at me straight. It's a good thing. Stop being weird. To keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised, but I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Uh... Oh, okay. How are things here? Not good to say the It's least. really bothering me that yes, she's not looking at me in the face. Enemy, more lethal than any bullet now it's bothering me more that she's not it's looking hard. at me. Okay, well, I don't know which one I prefer. An invisible enemy. Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but... How do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak. Whoops. Didn't mean to hit that one. The ill of a colleague. Is there anyone that stands out? Well. I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Oh, Mr. Tippett's. 
Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No. I may disagree with some conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. Okay, fine, Gwyneth. Oh. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Next time, look at me in the eyes when we're talking. Oh. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I apologize, nurse. I needed some time to myself. This has been the longest and strangest night of my life. You delivered poor Mr. Hampton from a terrible fate. The means to that end should be of little concern, doctor. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. I would like to ask a few questions first. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. Okay. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. He's not look. She's not looking at me. She's looking like. Okay. She wasn't Apologies, looking at me. She I've was looking like past my once. shoulder. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Doctor Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. If you could point me in the direction of my room again. No. Please. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite okay. a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Okay. What a nice ambulance driver. Are you really smuggling weapons through the hospital? And why not? I've already been attacked by patients, you know. And by gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. You're selling guns to civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect their health. How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation is all right? It's fucking awful. We lack everything. And it's getting worse every day. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Doctor Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. A Milton shotgun? He's just gonna straight up give me a shoddy? Okay, now I know. Oh, the right button.
Go back to the machete and let's try. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon. What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency? Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Medical checkup? Do you require my services, Miss Howcroft? I have no need for your medicine, Dr. Reed. Blood is the only drug I need. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. I can just take hacksaws. Okay. Yes, I can. E. L. Woods medical file. It's locked, all right. Dr. Reed. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. The flower's dying. It needs water. Once again, I'm not going to read through all of these, but I will scroll through them so that way you can read them if you'd like. Let's look at that blood. Regenerate 300 health points instantly, then 150 health points over the next 15 seconds. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time now. Okay, you just cut me off.
You will block your target's blood in their veins, making them defenseless. Actually, we'll go with the blood barrier. Let's do... Okay, upgrade. No, we can't. What's this? Bring proof. Perform a super move to your target. Cause damage upon landing. That sounds amazing. Oops. Confirm. Mm -hmm. 